Well now I'd like to show you how you can overlay two distinct graphs on the same plot. Of course this idea can be extended to more than two, but this gives you the basic idea. I'll begin by defining an array for my independent variable. And I just did a quick little jump ahead in time there to wire up some constants to the ramp pattern. That will generate 20 samples ranging from 0 to 10. You can also see some other options that you might explore for ramp pattern. The independent variable, or the x variable, if you like, runs from 0 to 10. And I want to plot the square root of x as one of my functions on the graph. So I'm using the cluster bundle to connect my x variable and the y variable together into the same cluster. Again, my y, y variable is simply the square root of x. Once these are bundled together, those can be connected directly to the xy graph. I'll go ahead and place the express version of the graph, which includes a mechanism to actually do that bundling technique. The piece here that I only really require is the graph indicator itself. All right, we see that the x-axis does in fact run from 0 to 10, and we recognize the familiar shape of the square root. Now the index number allows you to scroll through the various plots once they exist. I'm also pointing out that you can change the plot style pretty conveniently. Let me add my second curve, which will be the negated square root function, and then I'll add an offset of 3, so that way the second plot also fits within the range 0 to 3. So I repeat the same process. Here I'm doing a, a control uh, click and drag on that to make a, a quick copy of that cluster bundle. Of course I use the same x variable and then the, the distinct y variable for the second plot. These two clusters, when bundled together as an array of clusters, can then be applied directly to the xy graph, and that's how we get our overlay plot. So again, hopefully you can see that you could extend this process to include as many functions as you care to display. Now you'll notice that our second graph is showing up in red, and then if you look carefully where it says plot 1, note that the color is red, and that visual indicator is very nice for being able to scroll scroll through your various options. Also notice you can change things like the color, line style, line width, pretty much have full control over how you want the graph to appear.